What's up guys, it's your boy Mike, your boy Mr. Cha here coming at you with a video. In today's video I'm going to talk down and break down um, an experience that I had at Seaside Sanatorium in uh, Connecticut. So let's get right into the video and into the story. So one day a buddy and me, um, we decided to plan a trip to go to Seaside Sanatorium in Connecticut. So we packed all our gear up and hit the car and headed over to the abandoned location seaside um, which is right on the water where it sits is actually beautiful it's great scenery very relaxing setting um, especially back in the day when it was open I can imagine the patients took joy in the setting and looking at the scenery outside the windows etc um, etc et but as far as for us goes we got in the car we drove over there and um, the parking lot was situated quite a distance away from the actual building we were trying to get into so we parked our car um, and then from there, we, we set out on foot to the location, to the building itself. Once we got to the building, though, there was an issue. And the issue was there was a chain link fence that wrapped around the whole perimeter of the building. So, of course, as urban explorers, we looked everywhere for an opening or a hole in the fence that we could slide through and get through. Um, unfortunately, it turned out that there wasn't a way in, right off the bat at least, that we could see. Um, no holes in the fences, no nothing like that. But where the fence divided and kind of separated when, put it this way, there was a, a chain link fence door that would slide open if it wasn't locked, that would pull open. And there were two of them, so it was like a set of double door, but a double door fence, and they would open if it wasn't locked. Um, there was a gap between the two uh, opening doors, and uh, we were able to climb up and squeeze through part of the separation in the top of the fence and we climbed down into the onto the other side of the property of the other side next to the building and um, the next thing we had to do was go look for entrance and an entry point to get into the building so there we are we're walking around the property inside on the other side of the fence finally found a way in and we're walking around looking for a hole and a window and a door um, that's not already boarded up and sealed off um, it took us quite a bit of time. Finally, we thought that if we scaled the building a little bit, climbed up to the second floor, we'd be able to get in from the second or third floor. There was this balcony we thought we'd be able to get in through an open door up there, but we weren't able to. Everything was locked up. Everything was boarded up and sealed off from getting inside. So um, it was pretty disappointing. It kind of let us down a little bit, the fact that we'd driven over an hour to get to the location, and then we weren't able to get in ultimately. Um, but then something happened. We started heading back to towards the fence to go through the fence again and to head back to our car. Um, and right when we get to the front of the building, I see a truck, a white truck with flashing lights on it. And, um, instantly it registered in my brain that that was park security. Um, so we kind of booked it over to a corner of the building and hid behind, um, part of the structure until I finally was like, you know what? We're going to have to face it when all is said and done, so I might as well get it over with. So I just get up while he's still hiding, and um, I walk up to the fence where we had come through, and we're about to exit through, and um, the security officer gets out of the truck, starts walking and approaching me from the opposite side of the fence, and um, as I'm talking to him, or right before I talk to him, he gives me this dirty look, and uh, instantly I'm just like, yeah, how's it going? Um, I just want you to know I'm here for photography not here to vandalize or do any harm to the property i come with the utmost respect possible he didn't want to hear it though he was like listen to me i don't know how you got through the fence how you got in but um you guys got to get out right now so basically at that point um we were like yeah the only way we got in was through this little gap in the fence and it took us a while to get through it in the first place so it was going to take just that much longer to get out of it um, and he wasn't happy about it. He started saying, get your fat ass, excuse my language. He's like, get your fat asses through the fence out of here, or I'm going to call the police right now. Um, he's like, you have 15 seconds. So I went through first, followed by my buddy who went through second. And, um, after that happened, um, the security officer was just like, you guys got to get the hell out of here right now. Or like I said, I'm he, like he said, he's going to call the police. So uh, we didn't take any chances and try to stick around to get inside the, bu the building further. Um, we cut our losses and we head back, headed back to the car and uh, then kind of just recapped on what just happened. 
basically just talked about it and discussed how lucky we were that he didn't call the police. Um, but that was our run-in with a security guard. Could have been worse, but it wasn't. Um, so that being said, this concludes this video. Um, and when all is said and done, it was a it was a cool day. Still got to see the outside of the structure. Didn't get to go inside, but we almost were caught and busted by security. So that was thrilling and kind of a rush in itself. But um, with that being said, thanks for watching this video. If you like this story, if you like this video, drop a like down below. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you've had experience at Seaside Sanatorium in Connecticut um, or just about any other abandoned location you've been to and so on and so forth. Um, and just feedback in general in the comment section is appreciated very much so by myself. Really do love the feedback. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button for more content to come in the near future. And uh, as always, before I leave you guys, cheers and ciao. Until next time, peace, be easy, catch y'all on the flip side.